Okay. are in the right places, um, but it's a little stiff. And so um, last year when David Hoos was here, he said, uh, uh, he had good advice for the choir and the orchestra. He said, you want it to be like sailing and not marching. You're a little bit too much like marching, even though it's in 3-4. Yeah. Okay, so can you just, um, every, you've, you've, got, you've memorized everything and, and everything's happening at the right time, but can you just release the energy? And you too are a little hunched over, unusually for you. So you don't need to hunch over for piano. I mean, many conductors do, but this is really, it's more effective to just stay tall and, and like say, talk to the hand, folks, <clears throat> kind of a thing. So um, if you could just keep your, you know, think about initially initiating the movements from your back, okay, and then letting go, especially in forte, because you're just holding on too much. And it doesn't need to be that staccato, because remember they're playing, can you just play a couple of the first, Play Sarah alone. Play the first couple bars. Listen to how. Watch everyone. Watch. Can everyone see? So can you do mind standing up? All right. So she's just gonna play. <clears throat> yeah. Now can you play them a little shorter? But yeah. yeah right. Just space. Be right. You see how delicate and graceful that motion is? That's what we want to mimic. Okay? All right? Thank you. <laughs> okay? All right. So if that can be more of the idea behind the pianos and even the fortes. Because uh, in the fortes, you're just going to have more bow. Right? I'm singling out Sarah because it's originally for strings. Can you definitely play the left hand? Yeah. The bass line? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because there would have been no harpsichord jangling along. So. We'll start with that. Okay. All right, once again, Adam, just releasing. <clears throat> Yeah, you'll see the difference on the video. Okay, good. 